Most people don't consider their limbs to be a luxury, and few ever think about what their lives would be like without the ease of a working knee or foot. But those who undergo amputation find they must adjust to the life-altering consequences of their condition, and they often face significant challenges in their day-to-day -day lives. In the United States, there are over 500 amputations performed every day. In fact, that there's approximately 2 million people living with limb loss in the United States, and that number is expected to double by the year 2050. Forty-five percent of amputees living in the United States lost their limb due to trauma. Of those, three-quarters are under the age of 45. These are the people who are veterans, parents, and children who want to work, they want to live active lifestyles. The National Limb Loss Information Center estimates that one out of every 200 people has had an amputation, and 1.7 million in the U.S. are living with limb loss today. The leading causes of amputation in the United States are associated with aging, circulatory conditions, and chronic health conditions, such as diabetes and obesity. If we talk about diabetes, there's currently 150 million people living with diabetes worldwide. That number is expected to climb to 250 million. Those are some really scary numbers. An amputee's use of prostheses, or artificial limbs, can assist with their mobility and enable them to more actively participate in their activities of daily living. But without the proper prosthetic device, an amputee can still experience significant limitations. When I first received my prosthetic, I was able to walk and get around, and I assumed that everything was well. I figured I was an amputee, so I kind of accepted all of the aches and pains and the obstacles as just par for the course. I was missing a leg. But I had a prosthetic, and I was able to walk, so I was happy. What I didn't realize is how much I was settling for. Other than giving birth to my little boy, the proprio foot's the best thing that's happened in my life since becoming an amputee. I started exercising more, I started walking more, and as I started walking more, I gained more confidence, which made me want to try more. Instead of, I don't know if I can do this because I'm an amputee, my attitude has changed to, I'm going to do this and prove that an amputee can do it. I've lost 125 pounds so far, and I have become the mom that I always wanted to be. Peggy's proprio foot was made by Oser, a global leader in innovative prosthetic and orthopedic technologies. The company, founded in the 1970s by a prosthetist who was exploring better options for improving products for amputees, is now showing the world how technological innovation can enable amputees to restore lost mobility and enjoy lives without limitations. The current theory is that amputees, whether they lost their limb due to trauma or to diabetes, is that they can reduce the stresses to the sound limb then they're going to be able to live a more fruitful life because they're not going to put themselves at risk of reamputation, arthritis, and possibly low back pain. The beneficial impact of OSER's technologies extend far beyond regained mobility and include improving amputees' physical fitness and emotional health, as well as delivering economic savings associated with fewer medications and hospitalizations. So OSER uh, set course many years ago to try and replace lost function for amputees and uh, in the beginning it was a pretty standard process. We could replace parts of the, the lost system, namely the, the skeleton. We could support weight through the prosthesis. Uh, as time has gone on we've discovered that there's a lot of other possibilities. Um, the, the inspiration for that obviously comes from the human body and, and as technology advances we can get closer and closer to the, the final result which is fully replacing the human, uh, human limbs that, uh, that have been lost. So, so really we've, we've got to a point now where we have uh, different parts of uh, computing systems, motorized uh, drives that can really uh, start to replace a lot more of the function. For more information, please visit www.oser.com.